Welcome to the Machine Logic for Universal Robots tutorial video. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the manual control mode, actuator configurations and commands, the digital outputs, and finally, pneumatics. First, we'll start by powering on the robot. The next step is to access the manual control from the toolbar. This mode will allow us to jog the machine motion axes. First, we'll select the axis that we want to move. We can then jog the axis in a positive or negative direction using move negative and move positive. We also need to specify the distance and in increments of millimeters. Please make sure that your axis is cleared and safe to move before doing so. Manual control also offers the option to home your axis and set the encoder home position. The next step is to add a Vention Move command to the program. We can do so by selecting ML for UR under UR CAPS. Under Actuators, we select the belt conveyor, then under Motion, we can select from the drop-down the type of movement. In this case, we'll select to start continuous move. Note that the speed and acceleration will be set to the default ones. We can change them for the specific command if needed. Next, we'll use pneumatics. Under actuator, we'll select pneumatic. We have three types of motion commands for the pneumatics, push, pull, and idle. In this case, we'll select push. We should also make sure to select the right address and the right valve. Next, we'll see how we can use the digital outputs. We'll start by adding a new instruction and select Add Output. Under Category, we need to select Digital I.O. Module Output. Afterwards, we'll select the desired output. The address refers to that of the I.O. modules, and the output refers to the one of the four pins on the specific I.O. module. Eventually, we can set the state of the output. Next, we'll add another axis motion command, but for a timing belt. Under Actuators, we'll select the timing belt. For this instruction, we'll want to move the actuator to a specific position. Therefore, we'll need to select the command Move to Position, and then set the position in millimeters. We also have the option to use the Teach Position feature that sets the position to the current position of the axes. In our case, the robot is at home, so the current position is zero. In other words, when this command will execute the actuator, we'll move to position zero. Afterwards, we'll choose to execute in parallel option to allow the next robot instruction to move simultaneously with the axis. Finally, we'll select the waypoint to move the robot to. Note that for this instruction, the robot will start moving at the same time as the axis because we chose an execution in parallel for the previous command. This wraps up our Machine Logic for Universal Robots tutorial. That's all for today. Happy designing.